Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be making some little doggy puppets. And this one is made out of feathers and a pencil. And this one is made out of a toilet roll and an old sock. Now I put those down over there, just the way. And I just turn the music off. So now today's workshop is all about puppet making. We're going to make shadow puppets, we're going to make finger puppets, and we're going to make doggy puppets. Now, to make your own shadow screen at home, you could use a plain wall with a torch. From a mobile phone. So, show you now. So, if we put our light here, you have your screen. Now, when you take your puppet closer, it's smaller. When you take it further away, it gets bigger. But you could also use a little desk lamp. This is like one of these little Ikea kids desk lamps, which is LED, and it doesn't get hot. But the other way you could do it would be to have, if you throw your, a sheet over your table, and you go underneath the table, behind the sheet, that then becomes your shadow screen. And you put your torch, or your desk lamp, or your mobile phone, and then you have a screen by throwing a sheet under the table. Now, the other way you can do it is to make a box theatre. I'll just get the cardboard box now. So here we have a cardboard box with a hole cut out of the front and a piece of greaseproof paper. And when we put the light on this, there we go. shadow puppets with the box and greaseproof paper that you use for cooking. Now, so that's the box one. Get that out of the way. I think it's time we got started, boys and girls. So now, you're going to need a pair of scissors, some string or some wool, some sticky tape, whichever kind you have, if you have a stapler, that's handy. So a glue stick or some PVA glue, which is non-toxic. You'll also need some craft card or some cardboard, whichever you have. And we will want some, if you're doing the dog, feathers, cardboard, piece of string, the dog one will use, if you haven't got feathers, we're using a, an old piece of sock and a toilet roll and some string and card. And have your markers ready. And you're going to need a stick. It could be, it could be a, a barbecue stick or it could be a plastic knife, a lollipop stick or a pencil, whichever you happen to have in your house. And I have a hole punch, but if you haven't got a hole punch, you could use a kitchen skewer or the pointy end of a barbecue stick. Now I'm using a craft mat so I don't damage the table. Now, not everybody will have a craft mat, so what you could use instead is a breadboard or a chopping board or an old magazine. Now, so just put this down here now, and I think we will start with dog. So, I have a piece of card which I cut into a doggy shape. I folded it over like this and this is how it started off, the same piece of piece. 
started off with one piece of card, which I folded in half, and I drew a dog on one side. Then I cut around the edges, and I punched a hole here and here. So first of all, I'm going to put my string in. So I'm not worrying too much about measurements, so I just cut a piece of string that long. And we're going to just thread the string through. Now, I have two ends on the tail end. Two holes on the tail end. So you just put that through here, thread it through. And then I thread it through the other hole. Steady. There we go. So it's coming out on the creased bit on the back when it's folded. And I tie a little granny knot. You don't need to know how to do fancy knots. Just tie my little granny knot on the back and the other one there. It's one side. Now, then I've got the other end of the string and on the hole near the head I'm going to put that through there. Through there through and tie it on the top. Now, okay, so that's now tied. So now we have a doggy shape. You can get your marker and draw a little draw an eye. And a mouse. Now, I'm going to get a little bit of glue. Just put it on the on the inside. That's it. And I fold it over like that. Now, you can either put a piece of sticky tape around the tummy, or you could use a stapler. There we go. Put it there. Okay, now all stapled or sticky tape holding it together. Now I'm going to put some glue. This is the messy bit, so I'm going to hold it by the feet so we don't get glue everywhere. And we don't want to do it on the face part, so we want to glue from the leg all the way back to the tail on both sides. And this is to allow the feathers to stick. Okay. Sorry, I'm being a bit messy, but that's because we have to do this very quickly. Now, then I get my little piece of feather. This is from one of those fun feather boas for parties and dress ups. And you find the middle, the string in the middle with your finger. And you hold it underneath and you Line the, line the feathers up between the piece of string on the head, holding the uh, feathers in place with the string on the back. Now, do the same thing, and we line the feathers up the back as well. Steady. Now, pull the string up. We can always rearrange the feathers a bit once it's on. And now we just push it with our hands to get the feathers to stick to the glue. Okay. Now. Now. Then you can get a little piece of ribbon and you can tie it on here. If you have one. I just lost my piece of ribbon, but don't worry. And you end up with a little dog. <coughs> now, that's one dog. Now, the other dog. So you draw a round face with two little tabs coming off it. And you get your toilet roll and you make a hole on each end. 
and then we get you cut a piece of sock just a little bit longer than the just a little bit longer than the toilet roll cut the sock an old sock then you hold the sock like this and you cut along and when you've cut it along the bit that you've cut the bottom off you then cut it like a fringe to make the hair for the dog there we go Just need to make a little, just near the tail, make a tiny little hole for the string to come through. There we go. And another little hole up here for the string to come through. Now, we're going to give the dog fringe. So at the front, I'm going to cut and once you have your dog made, you can do a little bit of trimming on it too. But Okay, now, so we open it up there, that's it open, with the holes for the, for the string. The next thing is to get our string. And thread it through the hole. And we tie a little granny knot in it. The strings about the same length, cut it in half, and now on the other hole, which you can do your hole if you haven't got a hole punch with a kitchen skewer, but you put a little mark, put it on your cardboard, but put it down on your craft mat or on your your breadboard, and give it a little twist, and that will put that through to make a hole if you haven't got a hole punch. Now, then we put this through the string and we tie another granny knot. There we go. So now, now the next thing is we want to put the string through the hole at the top. But we're not going to put it right down to the cardboard tube because we want to put glue on first. And we get the other piece of string as well. And we put it through the other, the other hole. And again, we don't put it all the way down to the cardboard. So it's about that distance away. Now we put the glue on next. Oh, first of all, I forgot. But first of all, we must put the head on. So quickly cut his head out. And you can make the head any shape you like. Big, small. There you go. And we need to add a little tongue to give character to the puppet. That little shape there, where my finger is, that's a tongue. So I'm going to cut a little red tongue. And then when I've cut the tongue, I'm going to get my scissors. And hold it with one finger and put my thumb on the blade of the scissor like that with the card and go like that. This is called paper curling. And gives the tongue makes the tongue curly. Okay, so now he has a curly tongue. And we're going to glue it on with my glue stick, or you could staple it, whichever you have. Now so stick his tongue on. So now the dog has a little tongue. To stick out at all the boys and girls. 
and we fold over the little tabs on top and we're going to glue that on here and this tongue fell off, never mind <laughs> I'll staple it on for now and I hope this, is, this, tongue, this dog doesn't go around licking all my goodies Okay. And curl his tongue up a bit. Yeah. Then you can stick his head on that bit on with a bit of sticky tape. Whatever kind of cellar tape or whatever kind of tape you happen to have in the house. Uh, sticky tape so they won't come off. Anyway, I'm just get a bit of this tape which is called gaffer tape or duct tape very handy. You can get it in Mr. Price or any of those places for very cheaply. Ah. So I'm just going to stick on that on the tab, stick it onto the cardboard tube and the other end of this side. So there's no waiting for glue to dry. Just stick it up there beside the string and here underneath okay now stick there you go now time for some glue <laughs> so i got my bit of glue and just do it like halfway down And we turn it over the other side and we do it halfway down. Now, slowly. And I put it on the table here for a minute so I can lay it out. I'm going to pull the string through now on the back. There's a sock. I'm going to pull it down there to arrange it around the glue. Push it down. Remember, after you've done it, you can then trim trim off the. You can trim the fringes and things. I didn't trim it, do it all the way around because I'm just doing it quickly, and you can change it around. Now, so then we put on a little stick control. Tape. And this is the doggy control to control your little dog. Okay, just put on the on this lollipop stick. And we do the other side. Yeah. Make sure the two strings are the same length when you're when you're attaching them. Piece of sticky tape on. This is great using this kind of tape, you don't have to wait for things to dry. Now, here we have a little dog. <coughs> now, good boy, you stand there, behave yourself now. So now, on to a different kind of puppet. I think now we'll make some shadow puppets. So now, just drew a couple of little quick pictures to give you ideas, but you can make whatever you like and you can rewind to work out how to do things again now. So here we have a design for a unicorn and you see the big bits at the top of each with a dot on it. You always make legs a bit longer and the body a little space for, so you can have moving parts where the legs don't get too short. So that's why we have longer legs and they're cut in three parts so the beak two moving parts on this and a control. This is a unicorn, this one. And this one is a dragon. 
Again, you see where the dots are, that's where we punch the holes. So now, I've just cut one out of cardboard just now, in two parts. So we want to make him move, so I'm going to make holes in him now. So quick hole, and a quick hole for moving parts. So now, i just got my hole punch, and I'm one size hole slash one size. I'm going to punch a hole for, for his control. So here we go. I'm using a hole punch. Right. And you could use a skewer, but make sure you're doing it on, on, on a chop kitchen chopping board or on top of a magazine if you haven't got a craft um, board. So now, so this one I'm going to do with a skewer. I put on the board, make a hole. There we go. Yeah. My hole and get my piece of string. I'm going to make a little granny knot on it, and then we'll have to put some controls on and work out how to use it for shadow puppets. There we go, one, one knot. So then I decide I'm going to hold the end and make another knot on top of the same knot. Yeah. So the idea then is to thread it through the hole. Oops, it's a little bit big. Never mind. I made the hole a teeny bit big, but I have a plan to solve that problem. Yeah. Now, where are my little pins? Never mind. So, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger. Now put this through. Okay, the string is a bit thin. I'll try to give it a smaller hole. side is here. Just make the end a bit smaller. Thread it through here. Now, if you can't quite get it through, just pick up a little, just poke it through with something. I'm using the end of the barbecue stick. Now, here we go. That one's through there. And we then lie the other one on top, making sure the spikes are going the same direction. Good string. Now we might want to give the dragon some firepower because the best dragons blow fire, don't they? Now, so now time to do the knots again and the moving parts. So Tied a knot here, and I'm going to tie another knot. Oops, Daisy. Mm, not my day, it's coming apart, but never mind. Right, well, here's one. Now, here's one I made earlier. So this one, we put a feather in to give him firepower. So when he goes on the shadow screen and he has the knot here, then we got a stick, and we stuck it on. Just like this. I got the tape, but I put the tape on the spiky bit of the barbecue stick so it's safe. Uh, and it's easier to put it on that first rather than put it straight on the publish and then lay it down. Now. Okay, so. We put the 
the tape on them. And the reason I use that tape, that, that silver tape is it sticks much better than cell tape. So right. He needs a feather coming out of his mouth for fire part. So I'm just going to get a feather here. And I'll put a bit of glue here on his mouth. Just stick the feather on. Okay, it's got glue on that. And I'm going to stick the feather on where the glue is. Now you can, once you've made it, you can trim the trim the uh, feather shape back for the snake tongue. Now, so then make a little light up, and we can see it, how it works as a shadow. There. But you can do this with a mobile phone or none. So if you see the shadow. I will kill you all. Ha 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 ha. Now, small one. So the moving legs. But then we take them away, they get bigger and bigger like giant monster puppets. And they get smaller. Now, I'm just going to show you a little theatre just for one sec. So you can get the idea of the shadow puppets. Now, you can see the shadow puppets in colour on, on our little puppet theatre that I made using an old suitcase. Move that out of the way. Now, you probably noticed the coloured bits on those puppets I've just shown you on that shadow screen. So, how to do the coloured bits on your puppet. Right. Okay, here we go. Now, you can see the coloured bit there, that's coloured plastic. Now, so all you have to do is get your little glue stick or some cell tape and put some glue, put some glue around the bit you cut out, whether it's an eye or whatever it is, for the light to shine through. And we get our piece of colour plastic. And the bit we've just glued, we're going to put it on. So now, as you see, it's now coloured. But if you didn't have those, you could use the window from a letter. Just cut the shape out. And use this plastic instead, or coloured sweet wrappers. And do the same thing, bit of glue, glue on first. Yeah. And now we want this to go into colour. So I've got a coloured marker, and that's the plastic just been stuck on with, with the glue stick. So all I have to do now is colour in the, the uh, bit in the hole. you see the red and if you want light to come through you also punch holes and cut bits out now this is a butterfly on a stick and we did it as a folding puppet so all you have to do is here's a bat I've just drawn it the exact same way as doing a butterfly I folded the card to half and I drew half a bat it out now this is the exact same as making a bird or a butterfly so if you were doing stuff for Halloween you could do that so I'm just going to cut around very quickly okay now there we go and you could make up all sorts of stories with the whole family everybody can do it doesn't matter whether you're 102 or whether you're two 
round we go oh see the older boys and girls can help the younger ones and then you could all do a story together right so now we have bat shape so and get one of my little sticks or you could use maybe a plastic knife or fork if you have them or a pencil now get a piece of tape just to stick it on again so we don't have to wait for the glue to dry it, now these ones don't have points but if they do a pointy end always put the tape on the pointy end so you don't want anybody getting stabbed now it's much easier to lay it on when it's that way okay so then we've got the bash and just lay it down there like that in the middle and there we go so now the back now has the control i want to do is just curl the curl the wings a little bit like that with your fingers curl the wings a little bit they actually work better so now we have bat power And if you want to cut little wind, cut little windows out 